I found it a pretty humbling experience. Fixing your sandwich, buddy? Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. <laughs> Let's get a ringside seat. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond is. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. I don't think so. You better find that. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number AL345. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Christ! Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very... ...sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers.
Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. A skeleton goes into a bar and orders a beer and a mop. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. That's the Winston Churchill. That a very hit. patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. What the hell? He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Looks like he's had a broad up here. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Instaheat, Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled up. It's still warm. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Another window exit. Must have just missed him. Looks like Albert's been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. There's this angle if he has a real love interest. I think his name is Phelps. He brought in that case for that poor lady killed in the city hall. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. We need to know which room is Candy's. This guy's got a screw loose. Gentlemen? LAPD man. You're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment in the 7. You, you take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type? Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Give it up, bitch. Sounds he's like we're missing all the fun. Get you in know there, where he's hiding. Now tell me where he's... <laughs>
like hitting women, do you? We had a... This isn't going to end well for you, friend. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute, take a look around. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Scania sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me, but he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Good luck. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes.
tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Much slack. Gotta get closer. Risk losing the trail.
slack. Gotta get closer. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much does she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. I know where she's headed. Let's get moving. You're behind the wheel. Where are we going? How are we going to look getting around in this thing, Cole? and backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winning. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Yellow cab. We need to get after her fast. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place.
let's get moving. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right, where to? Jesus, Cole, what's wrong with a good old-fashioned black and white? This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Can you quit driving like a jackass already? I think I just 
on him, and I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Rehab is quick. Mr. Lonigan, please return to the ticket desk immediately. There are three kinds of people. Those who can count, and those who can't. I swear, this town is going straight That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. He was a five-star goddamn wedding. Every man for himself. What's with all the firecrackers? Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> he said... Just try me. and sit still, Candy. Make Who me. shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I, I, <gasps> They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our... Thirty-two caliber, one shot fired. The Egyptian theater. So what now? The theater, I guess. I don't have much else to go on. They've been talking about on the radio. One another accommodate. You can drive. Let's take a quick intermission for news. Car 11, 11 King, meet the officers of 187, Union and 7th. Stand by for further. 11K responding, go ahead with the further. 11 King, meet the officers of 187 in the alleyway at Union and 7th. Suspect is still outstanding. Go to. The roar of the engine drives the coyotes out of their lairs, and the shadow of doom is etched across the snowbound waste. Death for the Marauder. In one month alone, over 200 were killed, and their hides sold. It takes a nice shoot. What's her story? Last seen falling out of a bar with some goon. He got fresh, she got shy, he got angry. Witness has him late 40s, six foot, light shirt, dark trousers. He's got to still be in the vicinity, detective. She's not even cold. Blunt force trauma. I must have grabbed the first thing to hand and clocked her with it. We came down the alley from 7th Street, sir. He didn't slip past us. 
Try the rooftops. Filthy rat might have gone for higher ground. There's our suspect. Give it up, LAPD! Can you drive to this one? Do we know where we're going? Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Why'd you kill us, Carlos? You quite was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. She stole them things. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Desist. Where are you? You limey cocksucker. Find some cover! Come on, Cole. Carlos is at the end of the tour. Come out now, Hammond! Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. you. That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps. Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and the 
uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen.